Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be reviewing the iFlight Zing 2206 motor. So this motor, uh, as you can see in the back, one second. Uh, so the Zing is like a really large series of motors. So they have 2206, 7, 8, 2306. Now I think they have a 2408 and even a motor for like wings and X class. So it's and they also have an economy series now. So it's a really really large like family of motors. So if you, when, as soon as you open it, you can see the packaging is really nice. Uh, some people say they copied the team motor box, but come on, it's just packaging. And in the, at the end of the day, it is quite good. So it comes with quite a good length of wire. Two things you'll notice from this motor are this curved bell design. I don't really think it serves any function, but it does look quite good. And I think it, maybe it adds some durability to the bell. The other thing you notice is this kind of this kind of uh, structure here which uh, prevents like the wires like the strands from getting yanked out in a crash which can save your motor quite a bit i have actually broken some 11 or 11 series motors not motors this big but mo uh, 11 series motors by just yanking out these wires so this is a nice feature but these do make the motor a little heavier than others because this motor is around 29 grams the sh uh, shaft is 60 65 aluminum as far uh, i think and the uh, sorry the bell is 6065 aluminum as far as i know and the shaft is titanium the lock the screw at the bottom is really nice because it's m2 unlike a lot of other motors and another really nice feature about this is one second let me just open it up um as you can see they, they put some lock tight here you can see some lock tight the blue stuff so I yank it out. You can you you notice that you can see this washer here. So there's a washer, and behind the washer, if you notice, there's a. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I kind of push it down. You can see this green O-ring. So that O-ring prevents stress uh, on the shaft, and that uh, so not only does it uh, like in improve the longevity of the motor, but it also means that when you're screwing back your motor, you don't need to worry about screwing too tight and hampering the ability of the motor to rotate. You can just screw it as tight as you want, and the motor will still move perfectly fine. You'd also notice when I opened it up that the motors are single stranded winding. One second, I'll just pull it up again. Okay. You notice that so one second let this focus so the windings are single stranded they look quite good and the uh this uh, the bearings are nine millimeters which means uh which also adds a bit of weight to the motor which contributes that uh well contributes to the reason why it's a little heavier than other motors but that does again improve the smoothness of the motor and uh, the durability because the balls inside are larger and hence they won't break as easily Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you some flight footage of the motor. Recorded with the Azure Johnny FPV props and the, and on the Rotorx Atomics Fox.
So I don't think I actually spoke about the KV of this motor before the flight footage, but it's 1950, it's 1850 KV, sorry, it's 1850 KV. So that is quite high, that's why I paired it with a rather low pitch prop. And that KV kind of makes up for the smaller motor because I'm switching from a 2207 to a 2206. So one thing is, one thing I could notice immediately is the motor doesn't spin up as well, which is not a fault of this motor. It's because of the smallest size of the motor. But, um, I did notice my flight times were a tad bit longer even though the KV was higher and it also felt a little more controllable because there was less power which is what, the reason why I wanted to make the switch. Overall I feel like this motor is really really good, it feels really smooth and I even got a comment on my trick tutorial the other day saying that uh, my tune was really good but I didn't actually mess with the tune much. It was because of, well among other things like the flight controller and the frame, these motors, these motors are really really smooth and for freestyle that I definitely recommend these motors because they're durable and they're really really smooth and they have a good uh, pack a lot of power. The only disadvantage for racing is that it, it is a few grams more but I am willing to uh, pay the price which is the weight uh, for the improved durability uh, because if you, even though you're if you're like saving a few like 10 grams totally on the quad maybe doesn't really matter if you're gonna uh, break when you crash so that's about it for the review i uh, also just forgot to mention it's a 16 by 16 mounting pattern on the bottom which i think is standard nowadays and they also have uh, more color options like i think they have they have a basically a camo color which looks quite cool for every version of the motor the 22 this motor is 19 dollars while the tw the other motors are 20 dollars i think and the economy series of motors come in at 14 dollars so thanks guys for watching this video i hope you learned something and i definitely recommend these motors one more cool little feature before i end the video is that these screws actually have Loctite on them, which is quite a nice thing. I never actually use Loctite, but I guess this Loctite always helps. Thanks, guys. Bye.